Hi Capricorns. This reading is going to be you versus them. This is for deep, deep, deep soul connections and separation. Okay? Um, spiritual connection, divine connection. Okay? All right, you guys. I'm going to skip the intro. I'm going to post everything that I normally tend to talk about in my intro in the description box below. Cross watchers, welcome in. I'm going to be talking about you. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because it really helps me help you guys, okay? Helps my channel to grow, helps other people receive the message, and also you can claim this reading that way, right? And connect to my energy. Don't forget to check your other readings and your other placements, all right? If you'd like to schedule a personal reading with me, the information to that is in the description box below. Also, you can contact me on DM on Instagram at infinite underscore love 1111. Thank you guys again for all your love and your support. I really do appreciate it from my heart to yours. I thank you. Calling in my archangels, guardian angels, spirits of love and light, universe, source, father, God, divine mother, holy spirit. Please assist me, may the great child of guidance, clarity, understanding, healing, and insight for the best and highest good of the sign of Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right, let's go, Capricorn. What are your feelings towards your person, Capricorn? How are you feeling regarding your connection? Sorry, let me adjust here. What are your feelings, Capricorn? Spirit, what is Capricorn feeling regarding their significant other, their divine partner? What is Capricorn feeling regarding their divine partner? We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So you're probably in hermit mode right now. You're retreating from your person, right? And your person is retreating from you. But this could also mean you're wanting to take time out with your person. There's two people here. And retreat together, okay? But you're retreating. Spirit, what does a Capricorn's person, how does Capricorn's person feel about Capricorn? Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Your person wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you, Capricorn. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. They want to open up and express their feelings toward to you, okay? But you see how this guy's looking in his face like this woman is expressing her feelings and he's just like kind of resistant to it and the angels are just looking like, what is going on? Guiding her. They're feeling guided, basically, to express their feelings to you, okay? And then we got this could be the one at the bottom of the deck. They feel like you could be the one Capricorn for them, okay? Um, Spirit, what is the mutual energy here between Capricorn? I had a flipper. Free yourself. Free yourself. That's the mutual energy here. Let your friends help you at the bottom of the deck. So, both of you guys are in need of freeing yourselves, right? Um, it's time to take back control of your life. You guys could have a codependent relationship here, or you guys could be in connection with other people. But you guys, basically freeing yourselves could also mean finally talking to each other, right? Communicating with each other, expressing true feelings that you have for one another, and not holding back anymore. Vulnerability is true freedom, right? Opening yourselves up to re to receive love is true is true freedom, right? Communicating, being open and receptive, also freeing yourselves is um, getting enlightenment, right? Crown chakra healing, really con feeling that inner peace and connecting to source and the divine, and really just trusting in the process. S Spirit, how does Capricorn feel? towards their person here that they that they are in love with their divine soulmate spiritual connection how does capricorn feel I keep seeing the ace of cups secretly in love daydreaming dreaming about this person 
perhaps um, fantasizing, praying for this person, visualizing this person. Yeah, right? Holding back, though. Spirit, how does Capricorn, both of you guys are holding back. How does Capricorn feel? Otherwise, this wouldn't be nine of wands in reverse. Getting ready to give up, Capricorn, on this this spiritual connection with the higher font here on the bottom of the deck. I don't know. We'll see. The wounded warrior came out in reverse. That's somebody that's completely n not giving up, right? Not holding on anymore. But also getting. But also the nine of wands means release uh lowering your guard right wanting to lower your guard towards this connection and not be so defensive and so protective spirit yeah there's a little anxiety here somebody walked away you walked away or or your person walked away um but the nine the nine of swords a little bit in your head right that's why this free yourself energy is here um are we using this retreat time alone time apart wisely how are we communicating with spirit source the divine it, every thought right is a vibration that we're putting out to the universe are we getting clear with the universe with what we want or with what we don't want this is somebody having anxieties having fears ruminating thoughts right up all night or can't sleep overthinking a situation right probably overthinking this eight of cups right whether or not they should let go and walk away or should stay right um the owls here that's wisdom so is the moon spirit is saying connect with your intuition here clear your thoughts do some meditations take time to breathe out okay capricorn so that you can release this negative energy here and so you can get some rest right silence silent silencing the mind Practicing mindfulness, okay? Trusting your intuition more here. Silencing the mind. That's how you'll get your answers that you're seeking. You can do that with meditation. I always post um, a meditation to clear all your chakras in the description box below if you guys want to get into alignment with what you do want versus what you don't want. There's something that's keeping you up at night regarding this connection, right? We need to work on releasing this, freeing yourself, if we want to, to, for this to come together. This is anxiety, stress, worries, and fears. Spirit, what, how does spirit, 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 how does Capricorn feel about their person? How does Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus feel about their person of interest? You want an offer. You want to you want to present an offer to your person. That's probably what you're feeling anxious about, right? Because you walked away from from your person in the past. You walked away. And now you're ready to lower down your guard here and 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 you want to you want this new beginning with this person. You want to offer them a stable offer here and you're worried and feeling anxious about it, right? Because you in the past you may have walked away from this person and left them out in the cold here. But now, or either that or you're feeling anxious about walking away from a situation right now that no longer fulfills you so you can walk towards your person and offer them this offer. Spare, how does Capricorn feel about their person? How does the emperor, you want to take charge, you want to take control of your life, right? This is the divine masculine. Um, Aries energy doesn't have to be air energy. And we have all we have all the signs here. We have fire, water, air and earth okay so you could be dealing with any one of those signs but we have the emperor here that's the divine masculine so this is somebody that wants to take charge wants to take control of the situation here okay somebody that is very the rules of empire is very successful the divine masculine right um domineering um could be controlling a little bit ego could be involved here right but um i'm not seeing that i'm seeing you wanting to take charge on this situation and move forward here with this offer where you want to take control of your thoughts you want to take control of the situations you want to take control period you want to free yourself right spirit um how does capricorn feel 
about their person? How does Capricorn feel about their, their spiritual connection, their divine partner, their person? Well, we got a few energies that jumped out. We got the death card. We got the world. That's the ending of a cycle. Oof, 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 oof. Look at that powerful energy, Capricorn. You want change. You want a new beginning with your person. Right, there was an ending of a very rough cycle. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. You could have that in your chart, but you want a new beginning, a rebirth. You're feeling very nostalgic. You're reminiscing about this person. You're missing them, and you want to reconcile. Okay, um, the wheel of fortune is karma. It's good fortune. It's good luck. It's expansion. It's 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 ruled by Jupiter. This card, right? It's the four fixed signs. It's Scorpio, Leo. Um, Taurus and Aquarius. It could be dealing with any one of those signs, but this is also a Scorpio card. This is a Scorpio card. A lot of Scorpio here. Okay. Um, so basically you want a new beginning. You want a rebirth with this person after an ending, after somebody walked away here, left somebody out in the cold, right? And that's what you're anxious about. You're anxious, you're anxious, you're anxious about coming out of hermit mode here with the retreat to take control of the situation and offering this person, putting an end to this old cycle here because you want to marry this person. You see this person as your everything, right? This is the ten, of, the ten of Pentacles. You see this person as the ultimate investment um, for, your, for your future, for your life. This is generational wealth, legacy, empire, um, grandchildren, right? This is the forever card. Financial, you, both of you guys having a beautiful life together where you guys are comfortable, okay, financially comfortable, financially free, right? But um, this is a legacy card, okay? So this is what you're wanting. This is a closure of a major life cycle, major ending that took place, a cycle ending. You went through a transformation, a death and a rebirth, a uh, major ending in your life, two cards of major endings in your life, okay? And now what comes after endings is a new beginning, and that's what this uh, Wheel of Fortune is here talking about. This Wheel of Fortune is over here talking about this new beginning here, this change, and I think that, that there's a little bit of fear about that, a little bit of fear stepping into the new here of this offer, right? This Page of Pentacles, this offer of this new beginning here. You want to reach out. With a, with a gentle approach, but it's a solid offer that you can trust, right? You want to offer this person. You want to come back, reconcile. You miss this person. So, this is a deep, deep, deep soulmate from the past, a divine partner, past life soulmate, somebody that you dream about. You can't stop thinking about somebody that you've been in separation with, but you still feel them energetically, okay? Somebody that has brought forth major change into your life, Okay, you probably went through a death and a rebirth due to this connection here. This is what a divine connection is. That's why you can't seem to let this person go. Nine of, nine of swords, right? This is why you can't seem to um, get this person out of your mind here. Six of cups, okay? So um, this is what you're wanting. This is how you feel. You're wanting to come forward to this person. You want this change. The wheel of fortune is getting ready to turn, right? The second that you help this wheel of fortune turn the, the wheel is turning okay but you got to co-create with spirit and the universe and you have to take action you have to take action towards your person if you want this change to take place if you want this happiness this reconciliation this new beginning if you don't take action capricorn it's not going to manifest for you okay because the universe that's how it that's how energy works that's how the universe that's how you co-create your happiness with the universe right you have to go for it you can't sit and expect a miracle to land on your lap. It's not going to happen that way. You have to take action. That You have to take a chance, take a risk, take a gamble for a major new beginning to unfold for you. Okay, it's right here for you. Divine timing is now, Capricorn. Huge, huge message. This is your person. This is the one, the Ten of Pentacles. Your Ten of Pentacles, right? It's the ending to struggle here. It's the ending to the past pains, past hurts. We saw that with the world, the emperor. It's time to take charge now, okay? With the follow your intuition, follow follow you. Once you release your fears, clear your mind. You'll be guided to to follow your intuition of uh, when is the right time, right, for you to come forward here to your person. Okay, spirit. How does um, Capricorn's person? I saw the six of cups again. How does Capricorn's person feel about Capricorn? How does Capricorn's person 
feel about Capricorn spirit. How does Capricorn's person feel about Capricorn? Thank you, spirit. Six of cups, same energy, soulmate energy, twin flame energy, soulmate from the past, from your past life. They miss you. They're thinking about you just as much. So if you're feeling that energy, if you're feeling them even more so now, right? Um, I want to make sure you see this. If you're feeling them even more so now, you're both thinking about each other at the same time, dreaming about each other at the same time, missing each other at the same time, yearning for each other at the same time, longing for each other at the same time. Okay, this is reconciliation. They want a reconciliation. What does Capricorn's person want? Yeah. Oh, wow. Here you go. They want to communicate with you. King of Swords and the Page of Cups. They want to offer this cup of love. They want a new beginning in love with you. They want to communicate their feelings. They want to open up, right? They're clear on what they want. Um, King of Swords, Aquarius energy. And then we have Pisces energy here with the Page of Cups or any water sign, okay? They're, what a difference, right? They're, this person has probably struggled with to open up to you. Um, they're very probably very stoic, very serious with the King of Swords energy, air energy, struggles to with their emotions, which is why it's paired up with the Page of Cups. This person probably is is uncomfortable with being vulnerable, is, uncom is uncomfortable with emotions, right? So they're going to probably open up to you um, very gentle, very shy, very, they, they struggle with vulnerability, okay? But they want to speak their truth to you and they want or they want you to speak your truth to them, right? And open up with your cup of love here, okay? Open up and share your true feelings, your true emotions. This is a sincere offer of love. Could be an apology as well. This is how they feel about you. They want to talk. They want to, that's the heart-to-heart -heart conversation is the king of swords with the page of cups. They want to open up their heart to you and express their truth, express their feelings. Fell right here, right? So clarifying this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They want to honestly discuss their feelings with you, that they have emotions for you, true feelings, that they have love for you, okay? That they want this reconciliation with you. They're sorry. Spirit, they want to they wanna put an end to the silence is what I'm hearing. What does Capricorn's person want to say to Capricorn? I mean, how do they feel not want to say? I'm sorry, Spirit. Just kidding. What does Cap? How... How does Capricorn's person feel about Capricorn? How does Capricorn's person... Whoa! That flew right up. Oh, wow. <laughs> they feel that you are their happiness, their joy, their healing, their vitality, their everything. They're clear. And what they feel about you. They want the truth. And they want to, they're ready to speak their truth to you. They feel happy in your presence. You are an extremely healing energy to this person. Sun represents Leo, right? Could be dealing with it, with, with the Leo. Um, but the, I, I, the, the signs doesn't matter, you guys. It's the energy, okay? The sun is the happiest card in the deck, okay? They feel alive when they're with you, when they're in your presence, Okay, they, they they feel you are their ultimate wish fulfillment, their ultimate happiness here. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. That's how they feel about you. Okay, you make them happy. They want this back. How does Capricorn's person feel about Capricorn? The moon and the sun. Talk about an eclipse, you guys. Total eclipse of the heart here. <laughs> I, should I should title the, the video that. Um, they want to express... They're suppressed, hidden feelings and emotions. They want to release their fears. They want they what's been hidden, hidden is about to be revealed. The moon and the sun. What's hidden, probably in the solar eclipse, right? Coming up, June 21st, Cancer, solar eclipse. Probably when all of this movement is going to take place for you, right? But they want to reveal to you that you are their happiness. They want to they want to release their fears and come towards you right? You, both of you guys need to free yourselves. This is suppressed emotions. This is fears hiding in the shadows here, right? They, they don't want that. They want total freedom. Free yourself. The sun card, 
right? They want total freedom here. They want to open up, express everything, how they feel. <laughs> wow, whoa, look at that. King of Pentacles, there you are, right? Looks to me like this person has a lot of love for you, okay? And they want stability. They want marriage, commitment. They want to ground this relationship, right? How does Capricorn's person feel? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got the Empress and the Two of Pentacles. They want balance in this situation, right? They, the masculine and feminine energy here, right? Heart, total harmony. They want balance. We got the Two of Pentacles and the Empress. So th this person feels that, that you are, like I said, they're Ten of Pentacles, right? Um, both of you guys feel that way. This person sees you as, as somebody that they can marry. They can, they see you, they want to nurture you. You know, they want that you are very nurturing. They want to be able to balance this out and give back to you. If they haven't been, if they haven't given to you in the past, you know, um, the empress, you know, the divine feminine, we got the emperor and the empress now. Okay. They see you as a, you're a match, right? The, the counterpart here. Got the divine feminine, the divine masculine here now. They see you as their wife, you know, the mother of their children. The Empress is extremely nurturing, loving, graceful, poised. All four queens in one, balanced out, right? They see you balanced. They they view you as somebody that um that they can they can have a, a life with, marriage, commitment. You the Empress is everything. Nobody compares to the Empress, right? There's only one. The wheel of fortune change we got that twice now you guys are in the same energy okay wanting the same things <laughs> but no one's taking action yet right i don't see action here but yeah they the empress is the mother okay and they're going back and forth here and how they're going to come forward and communicate with you they do want the first energy i got is that they want to balance out the situation here with you okay anything else for how capricorn is feeling but they see you as, um, they love you. You are their, the empress is everything, right? The dream, the catch, the, the woman that every man wants to marry, okay? So, um, if, you are, if you are the empress, right? You're wanting to, this, this balance to come in. I mean, feel free to reverse the roles. So, um. This could be masculine, this could be feminine, or this could be feminine, this could be masculine, okay? So that's what I forgot to tell you guys in the beginning. You could fall whichever one is, is resonating more, whichever side is resonating more with you. Again, with the Six of Cups, okay? They they they, they love you. They, they know your worth. They know your value. They know what you have to offer, right? And, um, and they want to balance things out with you here. They want to balance things out. Spirit, how does Capricorn's person... Oh, there's a lot of sadness here, though. A lot of regret from the past, right? Somebody feels hopeless, but there is hope. The second that we turn around, right, release negativity, and we free ourselves from the past hurt, the past pains, the past disappointments, we see that there's two cups standing in the back. That's hope. The person's feeling very sad. Okay, your person feels regret, feels remorse, feels guilt, feels shame, feels at a loss here. They feel like they lost somebody that they really love, the empress, somebody that they saw as everything, like a missed opportunity here. And now they want to come in and speak their truth or that, uh, or they're wanting you to come in and speak their truth and offer you a cup of love, right? Um, you're waiting patiently for divine timing to invest in this, right? They, they feel like they invested a lot in this connection already, you know, and, um, but they're doing the work and they're waiting for all their manifestations to come to fruition here, doing a life review, trying to figure out back and forth. Should I stay? Should I go? What do I want? Right. But what they do want here is balance, right? And they're, they're missing you and they're feeling a lot of sadness, a lot of, remor a lot of guilt. They're feeling grief, you know, regarding this whole situation here. Wow. All right, spirit. But they want happiness back. They want a balance, you know. They want a, they want a, they want communication. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. 
heart to heart conversation. That's what they're waiting for the right time to do that. Right? For this communication to come in. Spirit, what is the energy of the union? Mutual energy here. So the four of wands and the high priestess. What is the energy of the union here, Spirit? But the mutual energy for Capricorn and their person. The mutual energy for Capricorn and their person. Mutual energy. Oh, wow. There might be other people involved here, Capricorn. Or there might have been other people involved, which which was what caused. That might be what something you might need to free yourself of here. Um, which was probably what caused a separation here. But the free yourself with the five of wands is like the internal struggle to competition, conflict, right? And then we got the queen of wands taking your power back. You know, um, both of you guys passionate towards each other, um, wanting action to take place here. This could be another woman that came in between you guys, you know, that caused the conflict. That's probably one or both of you have other people involved that you guys need to free yourselves from so you guys can come together. That's for some of you, right? Um, the Queen of Wands can, are, can sometimes be the other woman, right? And then we have the Two of Cups here. Mutual energy. You both feel this connection. You both feel this deep soul connection here, okay? Um, two people in love, spiritual connection, deep, deep, deep bond. Um... Why is the five of wands here for the mutual energy? You're both feeling this inner struggle. Like there's too many people involved in this situation here. Too many people involved. What's keeping you from taking action? It could be an intimidation. It could be like one. Each person thinks there's other people involved in each other's life. Because, because somebody has stepped into their power here. Right? Looking good, smelling good, sexy. She's magic, the Queen of Wands. She she magnet she magnetically attracts everything to her. She's kind of highly connected to spirit here. Fire fire sign doesn't have to be anybody. Could be confident, have self worth, can um have have um empower themselves, right? Mastered a spirituality here. Master their energy. Master themselves. Master the art of self love. Anyone can be in that energy, right? Uh, anyone can heal their solar plexus, sacral chakra, and root chakra and step into this powerhouse energy of the Queen of Wands. So this is the mutual energy of freeing yourself, taking your power back, right? Releasing the inner struggle or turning your back on the conflict from the past here that happened. If there was other people involved in the situation, right? She has her back turned. Oh, you guys can't see that. She has her back turned to the Five of Wands. She's like, no, thank you. I'm good on that. This is the mutual energy. What is the mutual energy here between Capricorn and their person? What is the mutual energy between Capricorn and their person? Yeah, that's what it is. The five of wands is a burden. Both of you guys are feeling burdened about this connection because nobody is making a move. One person is up all night with anxiety, right? Um, trying to figure out whether or not they should give up on this, walk away from it. Right, um, put an end to it. Uh, there's like so many endings here. There's the Eight of Cups. There's the World. There's the Death card. But then wanting this change and wanting this new beginning so badly. That's what the that's what they're conflicted about here. Wanting to offer somebody this new beginning, but not knowing if there's other people involved. For some of you, um, you know your story. You're Capricorn. You tell me, right? Put it in the description box below. But somebody wants to take charge. Wants to take control. Once this change, once this reconciliation, there's a lot of love here, right? It is a soulmate connection. So, but there's a lot of burden. Yeah, there's someone in love, King of Cups, right? Scorpio energy. There's another Scorpio energy here as well. And plus with the world and the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Cups, a lot of Scorpio in this. You could have Scorpio in your chart, but somebody is in love, but it's suppressing this. The King of Cups doesn't talk about how he feels. He doesn't feel comfortable with vulnerability, but he feels deeply but he struggles to open up, page of cups, right? Um, wow, mutual energy, spirit. Two cards wanted to fall. Ho, 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 ho. Look at this, ace of cups. Like I said, there's a lot of love here. You guys are both waiting for your ships to come in. 
it's coming in spirit is saying the three of wands is a definite this this manifestation this visualization this prayer this vibration put out to the universe your ships are coming in see it's it's divine timing right but look ace of cups and the queen of pentacles hello you <laughs> You guys are wanting, you're both wanting this commitment here, this beginning, this new beginning in love, right? Freeing yourself from this overthinking, this negativity, putting this burden down. This burden is the, is, is no, there's the lack of communication. It's the suppressing of the feelings, right? The burden is holding back. Two people holding back, okay? Um, and waiting, two cards of waiting, seven of pentacles and the three of wands. Uh, but looking out to the future, right? Excited about this. Looking out to the future, wanting this expansion here. Wanting to come together. Express love. Oh, wow. Look at this. The king and the queen of cups. Express love to one another. Commitment with the higher font. Marriage, commitment, right? Equal give and take. Balance out. Ba we saw that balancing card here. Balance out the connection here, right? Equal reciprocity. Equal being eye to eye regarding this love, opening up to each other, right? Sharing the cup together with the two of cups, okay? Open and receptive to receiving each other. Open and receptive and being vulnerable with one another. With one another. That's the energy, right? There you are. Page of Pentacles, we have that here as well, okay? So getting started, right? This is the beginner's mind. The pages is like the brand new beginning, the beginning stages of something. Getting started with this offer is the problem is the problem two people are madly in love with each other but keeping each other at a distance here yeah spirit what's what's the obstacle here spirit why isn't capricorn reaching out to their person why isn't capricorn reaching out to their person What's keeping Capricorn from reaching out? Blocked. Not not knowing how to. Can't make up your mind. Can't see clearly. Refusing to see. That's what's keeping you, Capricorn. Not sure. Not knowing. Right? How to fix this? Clear your crown chakra. Clear your third eye chakra. Clear your heart chakra and clear your solar plexus chakra you'll get all the answers that you need you know exactly how to connect with the water connect with the moon you know exactly how to follow your intuition you're blocked you block this person or this person blocked you but this is like not letting anyone in not refusing to see this is a choice you can get out of this energy here right the second you clear these chakras i talked about if you want this connection you could lose this connection if you don't try to get out of this energy. If you're the one that needs to take action. Spirit, why is Capricorn's person not taking action towards Capricorn? Blocked again. Look at this. Two of Pentacles. Haha, -ha, right there. With the Seven of Wands. Blocked. Both people. Oh, guarded and blocked. Three of swords because of pain from the heart, feeling feeling scared, feeling intimidation. Wounded warrior here. Look at how much love. Two of cups. But we have the two of pentacles going back and forth, right? Because there was a lot of pain here. Somebody hasn't completely healed yet from their heart chakra. They're feeling scared, intimidated, guarded, suspicious, paranoid. Looking over his shoulders because you've been through a lot. Yes, I get it. Tired energy, right? But still holding on, still persevering, still pushing through, okay? But look how much blocked energy that there is. Both of you guys are blocking this beautiful divine connection from manifesting. Seven of Wands, standing your ground, right? Somebody put, drew a line in the sand. That's probably why this person here doesn't know how to approach this person. Because this person set some boundaries, set some healthy boundaries, right? Defending their, their convictions, their rights, their beliefs. 
also protecting themselves from outside energies from coming in and taking them out of their alignment here. But also what I'm getting is that this person feels that this person needs to put in the work. Because this person probably, as the empress here, put in enough work, right? She is the empress. If reverse it, that's the case. Or this person blocked this person, and now this person doesn't isn't sure what the future holds, right? So they're in their heads about it. They're in their heads about it, you know? Oh, up all night, wanting this change, reminiscing, both of you guys reminiscing, madly in love, wanting this new beginning in love, but no one's taking action. It's a burden. So basically, this is like, I'm done card. It's time to put down this burden. When am I going to put down this burden? I'm ready to put down this burden. It's the ending of a very rough cycle. But we need to take action towards one another here. It's time. It's time, right? All right, let's get a monology. Let's get an advice here, advice here, and then mutual energy. Spirit, what advice do you have for Capricorn regarding this divine love? There's a new beginning here for you guys, if you're willing to take it, right? Two people blocked here. But somebody wants to have heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Somebody wants to put in the work. Maybe that's what this is. I said what's blocking it. And this, this came out, right? This came out. Spirit, what advice do you have for Capricorn regarding this divine connection here? What advice do you have for Capricorn? I have a flipper. Bring love into the situation, Capricorn. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a new moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. Open your heart up, right? This is somebody that's trying to block their heart. But there's so much love here. So much love with the Six of Cups. So much love with the Ace of Cups. Open up, right? Open up. Bring love into the situation, okay? I hope you guys listen to this. There's no reason why you should torture yourselves and, and live in agony, Nine of Swords, when there's so much love here. When this person, this person as the Empress, is open and receptive to receive. They're sad about it. They're sad about it. Maybe you block this person. They're sad about it with the Five of Cups. They don't want this. They want you to speak your truth here. Or they're wanting to speak their truth. Okay? They're sad about it. Spirit, what advice do you have for Capricorn's person? The energy is gaining momentum. I got. I just got this for um, the Aquarius. Was it the Aquarius reading? Or the Pisces reading? One of them. You could be dealing with any one of those signs. Probably Aquarius. Um, the energy is gaining momentum. Okay? We feel that with the new... I guess that's what this eclipse energy is talking about here with the sun and the moon. Probably around the eclipse season like I felt. The energy is gaining momentum. So action is probably going to be taken around this time. What advice do you have for the mutual, for both of them, cross watchers, if you're watching... What, what advice do you have for both of them here? Mutual advice, spirit, regarding this connection. Mutual advice regarding this connection, please. Confidence is your key to success. That's complete Queen of, Queen of Wands energy. And conclusions are within reach. OMG. Take time to breathe out. Yeah, you guys got me feeling some type of way. <laughs> I'm feeling this Nine of Swords energy for you guys. It's frustrating to see this. I could see why you guys are so frustrated. It's frustrating to see this ten of ten of wands, five of wands when he doesn't need to be nine of nine of swords when there's so much love here, but no one knows about it, right? Because no one's talking about it. But look at this! Didn't I say full moon eclipse? We just came out of this energy, the full moon eclipse. But the eclipse season has a huge impact on this connection. Okay, so if you do new moon rituals, full moon rituals, keep doing it. Conclusions are within reach. Then we have confidence is your key to success. That's to both of you guys. Release your fears. Nine of, nine of swords is a lot of fears, okay? So release your fears, you guys. This is a longer read. That's because there's a huge message here. Queen of Wands is confidence. Confidence to free yourself from the agony, from the burdens, from the conflict here, from the inner struggle, and go after this love, okay? 
This love is here. Look, it's overflowing. My goodness. That's the mutual energy. That's both of you guys feeling this love. What? And you guys are just sitting back, wait, not doing anything about it? Or your person? I can't, spirit. I can't. <laughs> spirit. Angel message for Capricorns. Angel answers. Angel, Angels, what message do you have for Capricorn regarding this connection? What message do you have for Capricorn regarding this connection? What message do you have for Capricorn regarding this connection? What message do you have for Capricorn? Helpful people. Angels, your angels. Ask your angels for help. Also, there's people around you, right? You have an opportunity here for a brand new beginning, okay? If you are struggling to do things on your own, whatever it is, it's this burden. This 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 person doesn't ask for help, right? He carries this all by himself. Overworks, overdoes things by himself, right? You have helpful people around you like me, right? Helping you, guiding you. Take the help, accept the advice, take heed to, to, to counsel, right? Um, spirit, what advice do you have for Capricorn's person? Yes, it's a yes. <laughs> Exclamation point. Yes. Whatever that is for you, Cross Watcher, it's yes. Yes. Yes to new beginning. Yes to love. Yes. Yes. Not no. Okay? Don't block this out when this person comes in, Cross Watchers. Okay, listen to your intuition. If you don't know how to do that, there are videos online and articles and books that you can read that can help you discern be between fear, which is the Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands, Five of Wands, and your real soul, heart, your intuition. Like I said, clear the third eye, crown chakra, heart, and solar plexus. That will help you with your intuition, okay? Spirit, what does Capricorn want to say to their person? Please. What does Capricorn want to say to their person right now? The energy is gaining momentum, you guys. What does Capricorn want to say to their person? Message from Capricorn to their person, please. What does Capricorn want to say to their person? We are working together in the astral. Yeah, it will be nice to work together in the physical too, right? Since all of this fresh new energy wants to come up for you. Like the Page of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the world. That's wonderful. Yeah, this person feels that you guys have mutual, the same energy jump out for both of you guys. This is why it's important that you really watch what you're thinking. What you're putting out there to the universe, the conversations you're having with yourself. Because this person is feeling it. You guys are connected this is a spiritual connection. You guys are connected in the astral. So check in on your energy, right? How are you vibrating? What message are you sending this person? Because if you're blocked, your person's blocked. How can we fix this? Maybe by clearing this out. I don't know. Spirit set wanted me to tell you that. Spirit, what does Capricorn's person our connection is worth waiting for this person is waiting and sad about it disappointed that it's been taking so long capricorn really sad about it really sad not knowing if they should stay or they should go right wanting this conversation going back and forth you know should i stay or should i go what does Capricorn's person want to say to Capricorn? What does Capricorn's person? I'm restless and I'm anxious. I'm fighting for us. I was in denial. Okay. Maybe that's what this is. Like I said, they're fighting for you, right? Probably confronting others in their lives for you. Standing their ground. Standing in their truth. Drawing a line in the sand. I'm fighting for us. That's good because this person feels regret. I'm restless and I'm anxious. They're trying to balance out their energies here. Like I said, with the two of pentacles. They want balance in the connection and they're trying to balance out their energy. And they were in denial. 
but with the with the with the moon card they were in denial but now with the sun card they got the clarity that they needed king of swords the truth right the king of swords is very very clear he is not confused <laughs> that's one thing very decisive very intellectual considered a lawyer a judge intelligent articulate smart um clear-headed decisive powerful energy connected to spirit source of divine right air energy i want to communicate with you but it's not time yet bottom of the deck all right you guys i hope that you guys enjoy this reading please reach out to me if you guys would like a personal reading i love you guys so much Mwah. take heed to these messages okay you guys take care bye bye namaste